Welcome to the solid edge video tip number 60 from CAD Vertex. My name is Tushar. In this video, I'll show you how to create a whole table and adjust some of a uh, few of its properties. I am starting off with opening a parasolid uh, part. As you can see, X underscore T is the extension. It's an imported model. I'll open it with a, a part template. It has got several holes in it. Uh, some are simple holes. Uh, this pattern shows a simple hole. Another pattern of simple holes, but they are uh, blind holes and these are through holes. And you can see some are counterbore holes. If you see the feature tree, uh, it's just a part copy. It really doesn't have any hole features in it. And uh, synchronous technology and board drawings in uh, Solid Edge are smart enough to recognize this, these holes on the fly. So I'll go here in the Solid Edge menu, start creating drawing of the active model. Okay, so I should save the file first. Go back again to the command. Here we have got the drawing view. I straight away go to the whole table command. It asks me for the origin. And then I proceed to selecting the holes using a window fence selection and right click and this uh, whole table is created at the origin. If you take a closer look, all the holes are labeled uh, in a fashion a solid edge default style 1.1, 1 1.2 1 and so on and uh, they are labeled very pretty neatly uh, in the drawing view. Recently a request came up on the solid edge uh, 2D drafting forum on how to rename these holes uh, uh, in a custom manner like GB as you can see in the question. So let's get back uh, to solid edge, select a table and on the command bar that appears uh, you have to take the last uh, yellow colored icon saying nodes and tolerances. In this dialog box that pops up, uh, the setting is out here. Uh, just type in G and B right over here and say relabel the list. And you can see in the holes in the preview, you know, it is uh, said GB.1. So it is updated immediately in the whole table and in the drawing as well. Now the requirement says the holes need to be renamed GB1 and not a dot. For removing this dot, you have to go to the again to the command bar, this time to the properties. And on the first tab generally itself, uh, you've got a delimiter for the annotation. You can uh, say it uh, none, so it will be GB1 or if you want a space, you can uh, put a space as well. Further, if you select a table and uh, look at its properties, you've got some saved settings uh, in um, addition to location, the size and uh, you can add the size as well automatically. You can see uh, so solid edge drawings are intelligent uh, enough to extract the size from dumb model. If you double click the view, uh, once again, uh, if you check the feature tree, it's a synchronous model and it's only part copy. Until the next step, this is Tushar Suradkar signing off. Bye bye. To download the model used in this exercise, go to cadvertex.com and on this side, uh, take the blog link at the top. Uh, download uh, link uh, is down here, uh, it will open uh, this uh, Google Drive page for you. Back into the uh, Cadvertex site, uh, there is a solid edge, my solid edge blog. It will uh, open this surf and code uh, uh, where you will find all the quick links to the, all the video tips so far.